Well, hello and welcome to July 18th of the Katie's seventh grade prayer journal to encourage you to journal your prayers about everything. Actually, this is the Live True podcast, sorry. <laughs> but I have tried to record this podcast. This is probably like the fourth time now. Um, I am on an adventure with my husband this week and we are currently at a rest stop in Arkansas. Um, And where I'm trying to record this, I hope that my microphone is good enough that it's not going to be too much of a distraction. Just imagine that this is a bedtime story, right? But the whole purpose of doing this podcast right now is to inspire you to journal your prayers about everything. The theme of today's journaling session from Katie's 7th grade prayer journal is girl drama. That's number one. Number two is we start talking about beach houses. And number three is truth number four, which is that the season you are going through right now won't last. And what a better example of that than for me to be filming and recording on the road in Arkansas. Because I won't be here tomorrow. (laughs) Well, without further ado, I want to make sure that you get this episode in before I lose technical for thought functioning whatever you want to call it um but yeah let's go to july 18th in katie's seventh grade prayer journal to inspire you to journal your prayers about everything so dear god once again you've answered my prayers graham told me that she thought my mind would change when mary and molly came home from their trip to ohio well it didn't in fact now i'm only more convinced that I should go home to San Diego. Molly once again tried to play another mind game with me and lost. She decided to cut me down with some, not much help though, from Mary, her sister. So rude. Anyway, Graham talked to mom and mom said, if I come home, then they, my mom and my brothers, won't be coming to New Mexico for a visit this summer at all. Graham told her she wouldn't mind if they didn't come. What? Mom started thinking that she would like to rent a beach house for a week. That would be so much fun. Then she said Graham could fly home with me. Or maybe they would come out later when we're ready to rent the beach house. I think that if we did rent a beach house, Rachel could come with us. Is this really going to work? It would be so awesome. Maybe I'll go to the airport and leave when Cousin Dolly does. That would be great. But it would be a big change for Graham, all alone in her house again. As of right now, Lord, it's in your hands. Please make it a happy ending. And here's a quote from an Amy Grant song that I love to sing. I praise you for giving me a brand new start each day. And I praise your blessed name for guiding me all along the way. Because if you didn't, I wouldn't even try. End of song. And please surround everyone I know and love with your love and keep them from all evil. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, for the truth from today, truth number four, what you are going through right now won't last. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter three, verses one through 13, and it says this, for everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build up, a time to cry, and a time to laugh, a time to grieve, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to turn away, a time to search, and a time to quit searching, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all, yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I concluded that there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. Let me pray for us. 
Father God, you are so good and so kind, and I'm amazed. I'm amazed at your kindness for us. You give us the air in our lungs. You give us the days that are numbered. I pray, Lord, that we would be so thankful for every season that you give us. I pray, Lord, for wisdom and insight through it all. Father, I thank you that we can journal our prayers to you and that you care and that you see us. I pray for those who are going through a wonderful time right now, that they would be comforted and not worry about the hard times that are coming or may, might come, I don't know. And I pray for those who are going through a hard time, God, that they would know that that hard time is not going to last forever. Comfort them, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. Well, we got through it. Attempt number four or five for today's July 18th podcast. But just know that you are loved, you are seen by God, and I can't wait to hear from you. If this encouraged you to journal your prayers, I'd love to know about it. Send me a message at katie at katiespeaking.com or leave me a note wherever you're, um, you know, watching this podcast. Thanks so much and God bless you. See you next time. Bye.